This is how you can make a Spotify command for your Discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I would like to say that memberships now are available on my channel. You can get them by clicking the join button next to my username or clicking the link in the description. If you get the super, god, or custom bot tier, you will get access to paste bins, meaning you can copy and paste the code from my videos into your bot or website directly so you don't actually have to type it out. To get the custom bot tier, me and my team will code you a personalized custom Discord bot. If any of this seems interesting to you, go ahead and click the join button next to my username or the link in the description, and let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to go over to community and we're just going to create spotify.js in here we're going to define the slash command builder so we can do const we will do slash command builder we can do embed builder we can do attachment builder and then we can do equals require and we're going to get discord.js now we can go ahead and get our canva cord package so we can do const canva cord equals require and then we can do canva cord just like that you are going to have to do mpmi canva cord in your terminal for that to work now we can do module.export equals we can go ahead and open this up we'll do data new slash command builder we can do dot set name and in here we're going to do spotify we can do dot set description in here we can say displays a user's spotify status we can add a user option so we can do option arrow function option dot set name in here we're going to get our user then we can do dot set description and in here we can say this is the user you want to display the status of and we can do dot set required and we're gonna make this true we can add a comma we can do async execute we can do interaction and then we can go ahead and open that up so in here we're gonna get our users so we can do let user equals interaction dot option dot get member and in here we're just gonna get our user then we can do if user dot bot we can return await interaction dot reply and in here we can say content and we can say you cannot get a bot spotify status and then we can make this infermal, so E-P-H, E-M-E-R-A-L, and we'll make that true. Now we can do let status. Then we can come down here and say if, and we'll do user.presence.activities.length. And then we can do equals 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 one. Then we can do status equals, and we can do user.presence.activities. And then we can do brackets, and in that we can do zero. Then we can come down here and say else if, and we're going to say user.presence.activities.length. And then we can say greater than, and then we can do one. Then we can change the status to equal user.presence.activities, and then in the brackets, we're going to do one. Now, keep in mind, you are going to have to have the guild presence intent enabled in both your developer portal and your client constructor within your index.js file. Otherwise, this won't work. So now we can do if user.presence.activities.length, we can do equals 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 zero, and we can do or, so the two pipes, we can do status.name is not equal equal to Spotify. Then we can do ampersand ampersand, so and and, and status.type is not equal to listening. We can go ahead and open this up and in here we're just going to return await interaction or apply and we can say content and then we can say user dot user dot username is not listening to spotify then we can make this informal just like this so down here we're actually going to go ahead and create another if statement so we can do if and we're going to do status and then we can do not equal to null we can do the ampersand ampersand we can do status dot name equals 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 and we'll do spotify then we can do two more ampersands we're going to do status dot assets is not equal to null then we can just go ahead and open this up in here we can do let image then we can make this equals to a string and in here we're going to do https we're going to do a colon forward slash forward slash i dot scdn dot co slash image slash and then in here we're going to open this up and we're going to say status dot assets dot large image we can do dot slice and in here we're just going to go ahead and put an eighth we can add a comma and we can come down here and say name equals status dot details we can add a comma we can do artist and that is going to be equal to status dot state we can add another comma and we'll do album and that is going to be equal to status dot assets dot large text and we can add a semicolon here now we can come down here and do const card equals new canva cord dot spotify we can go ahead and add parentheses then we can come down here and say dot set author and that is going to be artist then we can do set album and that is going to be album. Then we can set start timestamp, and that is going to be status dot timestamps dot start. And then we can do the same thing for the end timestamps. So we're going to do dot set end timestamp, and we're going to do status dot timestamps. And then we can do dot end. And we can set an image, and this is going to be image. And then we can set a title, and that is going to be name. Now we can go ahead and make this an actual card. So we can do const card with a capital C. We can do equals await card dot build. 
Now we can do const attachments equals new attachment builder. And then we're gonna open this up and we're gonna put in our capital card variable. We're gonna do a comma. We're gonna open this up with curly braces. We're gonna do name. And we're gonna set this to spotify.png. Now we can actually create our embed. So we can do const embed equals new embed builder. And we're gonna go ahead and set a title. And in here, we can go ahead and get our user.user.username. And then we can make an S right here. And then we can say Spotify track. Now we can go ahead and set an image. So we can do dot set image. In here, we're gonna use a string and we're gonna do attachments. And then we're gonna do a colon forward slash forward slash Spotify.png. Now we can set a timestamp just like that. And we can set a footer. We're gonna do text, and for our footer, we're gonna say Spotify Tracker. Now we can come down here and actually send this message. So we can do await interaction to reply. We're gonna say embeds, and then we can say embed, and then we're gonna do a comma, and we're gonna say files. And for our file, we're gonna do attachments, just like that. One more thing before we restart the bot, I did put an S here. Just make sure that's attachments and not actually attachment. So now we can actually go ahead and restart the bot and test this out. Over in the Discord server, we can test this out by running slash Spotify. And for our user, if we input myself, as you can see, it's gonna say that I am not listening to Spotify as I have nothing on my status here. Now, if we actually go ahead and start a Spotify song, it's gonna say that I'm listening to Spotify on my status. And if we do slash Spotify and we input myself, as you can see, it's gonna say that my Spotify track is that image that we created. Now you're gonna notice that it says the name of the song by the author, and it's gonna say the playlist that it's actually in. It's gonna give the album cover and it's gonna say, how far I'm into the song when this command was run. Now, one thing that I did not do is I did not set a color of the embed, so if you'd like to do that, feel free. So we can try this again, and let's say by the time I run, it's probably gonna be around 50 seconds. So if we do slash Spotify and we input my name in here, and we'll wait like two seconds and we go ahead and send it. As you can see, it's gonna go ahead and say 49 seconds. So that is accurate. Now let's say we go ahead and skip this song and it's onto the next song and we do slash Spotify and me. As you can see, it's gonna go ahead and say that next song. And if we were to go back again, as you can see, if we run this command and do me, it's gonna go ahead and say the song that we are currently on. So that's so you can code a Spotify command for your discord.js version 14 bot. If this works for you, be sure to leave it a like and subscribe. If it didn't and you need any help, go ahead and join the server in the description below. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.